The Leader's Field Guide is brought to you by Leading Synergies, leading solutions for leading business, and Synergy Group, virtual masterminds creating community, transformation, and accountability for really busy Christians in leadership. Hi. This week's Leader's Field Guide is called The Peacock and Its Nemesis. My name is Michelle Sugarman, and I can't wait to tell you this story. We were in a parking lot, and we saw this beautiful candy apple red car. Yet it was parked diagonally in four spaces, and the prideful owner, I'm sure, was hoping to avoid door dings. However, it made it a perfect target for a very competitive peacock. That peacock probably did about $4,000 worth of damage, and the car probably would not have been singled out by the peacock unless it had been parked the way it was. So that being said, I want to share a quote with you from Pope Francis. An example I often use to illustrate the reality of vanity is this. Look at the peacock. It's beautiful if you look at it from the front, but if you look at it from behind, you discover the truth. Whoever gives in to such self-absorbed vanity has a huge misery hiding inside of them. Here are the three hidden miseries of the self-absorbed leader. One, self-sabotage. That's the one that really masks fear. Fear of being wrong, incorrect, or imperfect. Fear of being undeserving, say, of success or kindness. And then also, fear of starting or finishing. Procrastination. The second hidden misery is arrogance. That's the self-promoting behavior that reveals those underlying cravings like wanting attention, approval, and praise. It's hard to miss that colleague that's strutting around the office with the feathers on display, and yet the audience knows the difference between self-admiration and self-confidence. So that arrogance becomes the leader's nemesis. And the third hidden behavior is insecurity. That's the defensive behavior that reveals underlying skepticism, like assuming opposition at every turn or being passive aggressive. The leader fights an unseen by misreading a disagreement as conflict or dissension as offense. Ultimately, that insecurity again becomes the leader's nemesis. Did you know that peacocks can actually chase cars up to 10 miles an hour? And they do that after they've engaged in battle with their own reflections. They're fighting themselves, just like self sabotage and arrogance and insecurity allows leaders to fight themselves. If we could respond to the challenge of staying focused on others, operating with confidence, and fighting the right battles, then we can bring ourselves and our teams to greater success. Let's go on to the leadership development section. In the leadership development section, we ask two questions. These are the questions that we'll be discussing this week at Synergy Group. What hidden fears Cravings, skepticisms are most common in the workplace. And two, what criteria do you use to decide if a battle is worth fighting? In the spiritual growth section, we'll be talking about 1 Peter 2.11, and it reads, Dear friends, I warn you as temporary residents and foreigners to keep away from worldly desires that wage war against your very souls. Here are the questions we'll be answering. Consider self-sabotage, arrogance, and insecurity. How do these relate to worldly desires? And two, discuss how these worldly desires can wage war on our souls. And now for the deeper thought section. This is an opportunity for you to spend some quiet time with the Lord, reading, praying, and hearing His voice. I use Luke 17.33 as my inspiration, and this is what it says. Whoever seeks his life to save his life will eventually lose it through death. Whoever loses his life in this world will keep it from the consequences of sin and separation from God. And here are the deeper questions. <laughs> Where might you be peacocking in your work? What are you trying to gain? What does it mean for you to lose your life in this world? What bold moves are you willing to risk and by when? With whom would you like to share your commitment? And finally, pray over your decision and for those who might benefit. 
And now I'm going to read the leader's prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for showing me how being self-absorbed may reveal my own self-sabotage, arrogance, and insecurity. Keep my heart from worldly desires that wage war against my soul. Teach me to lose my life in this world so that I might keep it from the consequences of sin and separation from you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you do visit a Synergy group. We wish you were here. For information about visiting a Synergy group or Christian leadership coaching, go to leadingsynergies.com.